amen, amen. And if you don't feel it, amen, just begin to worship Him a little bit. And you will begin to feel, amen, the goodness, the mighty presence of the Lord. One more time, if you've not signed up on our 24-hour prayer chain, please take advantage of that and help us out because we want to make sure we have every hour covered. If you would be so kind, amen, to turn in your Bible, uh, Hebrews chapter 13 and verse uh, uh, 15. Amen. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 15. When we live in our Father's house, uh, amen, we need to live a life full of worship and of praise. And everybody say amen. 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 Hebrews chapter 13 and 15 says uh, in the book of Hebrews, the New Testament, uh, chapter 13, verse 15. Don't have it, it's on our overhead. Amen. Hebrews 13 and 15 says, uh, oh, Let me make mention my wife is not here this evening. Uh, she had one of her high school classmates passed away uh, over the weekend. Amen. A young girl she graduated high school with, uh, and uh, the mother of uh, two or three small uh, children, I think her youngest, uh, youngest little girl was just getting ready to uh, come out of preschool and ready to go into kinder kindergarten. Uh, one of her daughters was, I think, somewhere in middle school. Amen. So keep this family uh, in your prayers. Amen. This husband, uh, these children. Amen. Pray that God will reach down and comfort them and be with them. Jesus' name. My wife went to the funeral home this evening because that's when they were having the uh, visitation. Amen. The funeral will be tomorrow there in uh, Fayetteville. But please keep this family uh, in your prayers. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 15 says, By him, therefore, let us all let us offer, or I say offer, offer, offer the sacrifice of praise to God. When we feel like it. No. No. Okay. Amen. Let by him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God sometimes. No. Alright. Let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God on Sundays. No. No. Okay. Uh, it says let us offer uh, the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Yeah. Amen. That's all the time. That is the fruit of our lips, uh, giving thanks uh, to His name. Amen. The fruit of our lips, uh, giving thanks uh, to His name. I know, amen, there are some times that we would rather not, we would rather let negative stuff, uh, gripe and complaining and other things. Uh, uh, but folks, uh, we live in our Father's house. Uh, amen. And what needs to be rolling off of these lips uh, is thanks. Uh, amen. Thanks. Uh, praises uh, to a God that is uh, a great. Uh, amen. Uh, the Bible tells us that hallelujah, everybody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Hallelujah is the highest praise. It is the perfect praise. It is the, uh, the same word in every language. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Praise is thanks to God for what He has done. Praise is natural for true worshipers. If praise is not natural to you, then you're not a true worshiper. Worshiper. If you are not comfortable praising God, then you are not a true worshiper. And everyone say in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. God bless you as you are seated tonight. You're going to want to keep your Bible handy. Amen. Because I'm going to give you very many scriptures tonight as always. Because I believe the word is of utmost importance when we are teaching and when we are preaching. Psalms 66 and 1 and through 2 says, Make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of His name and make His praise glorious. And everybody say amen. 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 Uh, we have got to be people of praise. And I know there may just be a handful of people here tonight, uh, but our praise is not predicated on how many people are at church. Our praise is not predicated on anything but how wonderful God is. Can everybody say amen? amen. 
And then when we worship, we are adoring. We're giving adoration unto God. Genesis chapter 22 and verse 5 says, And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the donkey, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again uh, to you. Abraham worshipped when offering sacrifice. He was getting ready to sacrifice his only son on an altar. Amen. He was getting ready to eliminate the life of his son, but yet he was willing to still worship God. I want to tell you tonight, no matter what's going on in our life, we still need to be willing to worship God. Amen. Amen. John 4, 23 through 24 says, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. And God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. God is seeking people who are worshiping Him with their whole hearts. Amen. He's not just, He's seeking people who are praising Him continually. No matter what's going on, no matter what's happening, I am praising God. I've got a song in my heart. Worship is how we adore God. Matthew 6 and 9 says, After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Amen. He's a holy God. Can you say amen? We've got to see Him in sovereignty. He is the Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He is the Lord of Lords. He is Almighty. He's not just a God among gods. He is the God. Can somebody say Amen? He's not just a Savior among saviors. He is the Savior. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the only way. Can somebody say amen? Amen. amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. He's not just our, our lunch buddy. He's not just a, a, our carpool partner. Jesus is our God. Jesus is our Savior. Jesus is our provider. He is everything. He is holy and mighty. Can somebody say amen? amen. Isaiah 43 and 10 through 11 says, Ye are my witness, saith the Lord. My witnesses, saith the Lord. And my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am and he before me there was no God formed neither shall there be after me I even I am the Lord and beside me excuse me there is no Savior he is the only one can someone say amen amen Amen. Worship needs an object. Amen. And our object of worship is God. Can someone say amen? Amen. amen. Deuteronomy 6 and 5 says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And everyone say amen. Amen. And see, so you've got to love the Lord with all of your heart. Your heart represents your emotions. All of your emotions. You've got to love God with all of your emotions. Amen. Your soul. If I say my soul. My soul. That's your depth. Amen. You love God so deeply. And then with all of your might. That's all of your energy. Amen. All of your emotion. All, all of your depth. And all of your energy. Energy. Amen. And that means you've got to reserve your best for the Lord. Can someone say amen? Amen. amen. If, if I don't have, I need to make sure that I'm not completely spent so that when I come in here into the house of God or throughout my day, amen, I don't need to put everything that I have into my job or into my family or into this or into that to where I don't have anything to give God. Right. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, my mind and my life does not to be not needs to be not so consumed uh, to where I don't have anything else uh, to give God. I've got to give Him my best and my first. Can you say Amen? Amen. amen. I, I've got to praise Him uh, with all of my emotions and my energy. My goodness, if we get a hold of that, uh, I don't think we'd ever be able to have a, a, a preaching service. Uh, amen. Because we would come in here just ready to give God our all. Right. Amen. amen. 
Hallelujah. Exodus 20, uh, 3 through 5 says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image uh, or any likeness or anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath. Uh, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord, uh, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Amen. We should not worship anything but God. Amen. We don't need to have, uh, and here in the Old Testament, it's uh, uh, saying don't have any graven I images. Uh, uh, there was a lot of uh, pagan worship. There was a lot of worship uh, of idols and, and man-made uh, uh, gods. Uh, uh, but, but, but this God that we worship, He needs to get our all and everything that we've got. Uh, amen. Nothing needs to get more of us than our God. Amen. Somebody say, I know it. I mean, if we knew it, amen, we need to, if we know this, we need to remember that so that when we rise in the morning, the very first words off of our lips are praises to God. Yes. Amen. 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 Not, oh no, is it already time to get up. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For another day, amen, yes, yes. to where I can live for you. And I know the job, and I know life, and I know everything is absorbing, but I want you to understand God is still worthy of all of our yes. praise. God is still worthy of the best that we've got. Can you say amen? And I believe there's a remnant of people that still believe that and understand that. And if you have lost that in your heart, in your life, you need to do something that wakes you up and gets you back to the place to where God is your everything and nothing is in between you or God. Yes. Somebody say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Uh, Romans 1 and 24 says, Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their hearts own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. They changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator. Amen. Folks, we've got to understand when we start cutting God off, when we start making the things of this life more important than what God is, then there's something that's going to happen in our hearts and in our minds. Amen. To where we start slowly fading away and slowly all of a sudden God is not as important to us as what he used to be yeah. right Man, I, yes, I, I speak the truth. I, I, you see it time after time after time. Uh, people uh, who at one time loved God and He was uh, their everything. They were committed. Uh, they were givers. Uh, they were worshipers. Uh, they were praisers. Uh, they were people who reached out to others who did everything that they had for the kingdom. And then all of a sudden, uh, uh, things begin to change. And slowly but surely, there is that slow fade from where they once were so committed and in love with God uh, to where He just gets a, a small portion or a small amount. Uh, and then all of a sudden, before you know it, uh, before they know it, uh, they no longer love Him. Uh, they have a love for God, but they don't love Him. Right. And there's a big difference between having a love for God and truly loving God. Amen. Uh, John 13 and 35 says, By this uh, shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Our attitude toward God is judged by our attitude to toward one another. Our attitude toward our brothers and sisters. I and mean, when we have the right attitude toward our brothers and sisters, we have the right attitude toward God. Amen. Can you say amen? amen? Amen. There's one thing that we must do before we come in here and we begin to worship and we begin to praise. We need, we need to resolve conflict between one another. That's right. Amen. 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 Uh, we've got to resolve conflict before we worship. Because if we don't, we're not going to be able to make that connection with God. And there's something wrong with our, our worship. Amen. We need to worship through every circumstance. Amen. Amen. Through every circumstance, we need to worship God. Amen. We don't need to complain. 
to complain. It's easy to bellyache. Amen. But we need to worship God. Lord, I love you. Yes. Yes. Amen. And I, I wonder uh, when we say that if we really always, always mean it. Amen. Job had a bad day. Job had a bad month. Job had a bad, bad, long period in his life. But do you want to know what Job did through everything that he went through? Praise God. He praised God and he fell down and he worshipped God. Yeah. Regardless of what happened, amen, he was worshipping God. He fell down and worshipped God. David, when his child died, what did he do? He worshipped God. Yeah. Right. His child died. And what did he do? He worshiped God through every circumstance that we're going through. We have got to worship God. Can someone say amen? Amen. amen. Uh, Revelation 5 and 12 says, saying with a loud voice, uh, worthy is the Lamb that has, was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. As you read down through this, uh, it says the 24 elders uh, fell down and worshiped. Uh, amen. We need to worship God all of the time. There's not a day that needs to go by that we should not be worshiping God. We don't just worship God on Sunday. We don't just worship God on Wednesday. We worship and praise Him seven days a week. So worship, amen, worship is our adoration toward God. God, you are so great. You are greatly, amen, to be praised. Lord, I want to magnify you and I want to lift you up. I want to exalt your name, amen. And we need to be thankful, amen. Somebody say thankful. Thankful. Thankfulness, amen. Thankfulness is praise, amen. I am thankful, amen, for all that God has done for me. Amen. There are circumstances, there are things uh, in my life, you know, even uh, uh, even when I sometimes I look at things that are going on within the church, uh, I, I could maybe say, you know, Lord, this aggravates me. Sometimes I do get aggravated when I uh, see things changing and I see uh, see a, a decline in numbers and things like that. You know, I could, I, I, it, sometimes it could be something that brings me down, but I want you to understand through everything I need to be thankful. You know, I could bellyache uh, uh, that we're we're missing a bunch of people. But no, I want to be thankful for the people who are here. Yes. Somebody say amen. 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 I remember uh, there are times when we gather here to worship and praise. And maybe everybody's not praising the Lord like they ought to. Rather than getting up here and, and harping. Hey, you need to be praising the Lord. I'm thankful for those who are praising the Lord. Somebody say amen. amen. I thank, hey, everybody may not be running the aisles, but I thank God for the one who ran the aisles tonight. Right. Can you say amen? amen? Let's give the Lord and Sister Jackie a, a hand clap and appreciate it. Amen. I'm thankful for that. Amen. Because it would be easy. I remember one time, uh, it was a Wednesday night in, uh, uh, in the church that we came out of uh, in Fayetteville. And there was a fireball young preacher who had grew up in that church and moved off uh, and was now part of a great big old church. And he came back uh, and he was preaching about worship and praise uh, on a Wednesday night. And boy, he was giving the church a hard time because everybody wasn't worshiping and praising the Lord. Uh, it was a Wednesday night. People were tired. And he was coming down hard telling them, you know, this young man had sat, uh, sat in the office all day long in an air conditioning, uh, but yet he's standing up there. And I mean, he was just... Uh, and he was preaching hard. And there was a good group of people who were getting behind him, worshiping and praising. But he just kept coming down harder and harder. Uh, giving those who weren't praising the Lord a hard time. And, and, and I remember after that, uh, amen, uh, off to the side, uh, when the elder, our pastor, uh, pointed out to him, hey, young man, you need to realize we need to be thankful for anybody that's in that service uh, lifting up the name of the Lord. You need to realize that these people are hardworking people. And these people are people who praise and worship the Lord. They might not always be bouncing off like a, a, a like a pinball machine, but in their hearts they love God. And they're praising Him just by being faithful to the house of God on a Wednesday night when it would be a whole lot easier to sit at home. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So 
take it to heart. Amen. If you're ever up here leading the service, uh, amen, don't give people a hard time for not praising. Hey, you just get up here as a, a leader of the service. Uh, you're here to lead. Yes. Right. Right. Amen. If you start praising, somebody else will praise. Right. Somebody say amen. 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 And if it's not coming from the heart, amen, it, it'll, it'll get there eventually. And it does you no good if it's not coming from your heart. But we want to be thankful in everything. First Thessalonians 5 and 18 says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning, concerning you. We are to give thanks all of the time. Amen. A relationship of praise and thanksgiving. Hebrews 13 and 15, as we read in the beginning, says the sacrifice sacrifice of praise is the fruit of our lips. Amen. When I'm praising the Lord, amen, uh, it's the fruit. It's something that's coming off. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, if you're negative and you're down and out, if you're giving people a hard time, that's the fruit that's coming out. Hey, I want thankfulness. Uh, I want praise uh, to be my fruit. Uh, can you say amen? Amen. Amen. An Old Testament priest offered incense of the altar of incense. It was a type of praise and worship. Our prayer should be preceded by thankfulness. Amen. When we begin to pray, when you sit down and pray, amen, you have your prayer time during the day or any time, make sure that you begin with thankfulness. Yes. Lord, I am so thankful. Amen. I am thankful for all that you have done for me. Uh, you know, when I get up early in the early in the morning, and I'd like to be able to stay in bed. You know, I my prayer is not, oh Lord, uh, I wish I had a few more minutes of sleep. Uh, my prayer is, Lord, I am so thankful for the amount of sleep that I got last night. I'm so thankful that I was able to lay down in a bed with a roof over my head. Amen. Uh, and, and be able to sleep in peace. Uh, amen. Thankfulness. Uh, amen. We can always find something to be thankful for. Ephesians 5, 18 through 20 says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, capital S-P-I-R-I-T, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, uh, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We, when we come together, we're here to sing songs. We're here to give praise. We're here to uh, make music with the instruments and also with our hearts. Amen. And we're here to lift God up and lift one another up. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Somebody say amen. Yeah. Amen. 2 Chronicles 20, 17 and 18 says, Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. Jehoshaphat and all of Judah was surrounded by the enemy. Amen. When he looked at God, amen, not the enemy, when he looked at God, amen, he, he, they, they fell down and they worshipped and they looked to God for their answer. They were surrounded by the enemy. Sudden destruction was going to come upon them. But when they went out to, to, to battle that next day, they did not go out with swords and with weapons. They went out and they began to praise the Lord. Amen. In the battle. The enemy's coming against them. And they're out there praising the Lord. And what happened? The enemy turned against themselves and began killing one another. Amen. Why? Because God's people did what God's people are supposed to do. Amen, folks. We are supposed to praise the Lord. We are supposed to be thankful at all times. We are supposed to worship the Lord. Amen. If we'll make that our heart and our attitude, if we'll do it with all of our heart, our soul, and our might, amen, we would have a whole lot less to worry about. Amen. They praised God and God ambushed uh, that entire army. Amen. Praise is the language of faith. Everybody say praise, praise. is the language, the language of faith. Amen. Acts chapter 16. We know the story of Paul and Silas uh, in jail. Uh, what did they begin to do? They began to praise the Lord. Amen. They had just been beat. 
They were bound one uh, hand and foot. Uh, but you know what they did? They praised the Lord. Amen. That, that, that's faith. When I praise the Lord and things are going bad, that's faith. That's faith. You know, rather than grumbling and, and complaining, that's I'm speaking faith. Mamas and daddies, elders, we need to speak faith. Amen. Hey, things may not be what you want them to be. Amen. But God knows what's going on. Amen. Don't be negative. Hey, praise God. Somebody say amen. 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 So praise is the language of faith. Grumbling is the language of doubt. What language are you speaking? What language are you speaking? I'm speaking faith. Amen. 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 Woo, and I hear it all the time. Grumblers and complainers. Amen. Hey, you're speaking doubt. You go ahead and speak that stuff. Amen. Because I'm going to speak a, a faith. Yes. Amen. I'm speaking faith. I know God is able. Yes. Amen. I put my faith and my trust in a God who is more than able. Amen. Uh, so we, we when we come here together, amen, we come here to praise God together. Amen. There are some times, uh, amen, you may, uh, you may not be able to run the aisles, uh, but, but you can raise your hands. Amen. You may not be able to dance a, a, a jig, but you want to know why? Amen. You can clap your hands. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 I know somebody told me, well, I can't, I can't lift my hand, uh, uh, you know, over, you know, so, so far because I've got uh, shoulder problems. Uh, you know, I can only get my arm so high. Well, you know, put it out here like this, you know? Amen. You can put it out here right like this. Right? Or right like this. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Let's give the Lord a hand clap of prayer. Amen. Psalms uh, uh, 66 and 16 says, Come and hear all ye that fear God, and I will declare what he hath done for my soul. Amen. We praise God with testimonies. Amen. And we, we, we praise God with upraised hands. Psalms uh, 134 and 2 says, uh, Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless uh, the Lord. Amen. If you, if you can, why don't you just close your eyes and lift up your hands right now. Jesus, I love you. Amen. Jesus, I love you. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, praying aloud. Amen. You see, that's how Daniel prayed. He prayed aloud. Folks, uh, we don't need to whisper our prayers. And I know there are times uh, when it's appropriate to whisper our prayers. But we need to pray aloud. We need to raise our voice. Uh, amen. We need to let, the, let God and let the world know that we love Him and we care for Him. Uh, can you say amen? amen? Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Acts 4 and 24 says, And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, Thou art God, which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is. Amen. So we praise uh, uh, the Lord together through testimony, through uplifted hands, uh, through praying aloud, through joyful music. Aren't you thankful for the music that we have? Uh, amen. The beautiful music uh, that we have. Uh, amen. Psalms 98, 4 through 6 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the earth make a loud noise and rejoice uh, and sing praise. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp uh, and the voice of the song, with trumpets uh, and the sound of cornet. Make a joyful noise uh, before the Lord uh, the King. Uh, amen. We praise the Lord with dancing. Uh, can someone say amen? Amen. amen. Uh, uh, Psalms 149 and 3 says let them praise His name in the dance. Amen. Let them sing praises unto Him with the timbrel and heart. 2 Samuel 6 and 14 says, And David danced before the Lord with all his might, and David was girded with a linen ephod. Acts 3 and 8 says, And he leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them in the temple, and leaping and praising God. Psalms 150 and 4 says, Praise Him with the timbrel and dance. Praise Him with the stringed instruments and organs. We praise God with the dance. Can someone say amen? amen. It's alright to, to dance before the Lord. Amen. We praise God with the clapping. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. Psalms 47 and 1 says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Amen. Shout. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We clap. Amen. We sing. 
We dance. We pray out loud. We give testimonies. We lift our hands. Amen. Why? Because the Bible tells us to do that. Amen. Why? Because we're expressing our adoration and our love for God. We do all of this because Jesus is the undefeated hero. Psalms 34 and 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Psalm 113 and 3 says, From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. From the time the sun rises till the time it goes down. Psalms 150 and 6 says, Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. And in Psalms 35 and 18 says, I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. When you come into the church, you need to get your mind on Jesus. Amen. Worship the Lord. I mean, I know we can think about a lot of other things because our, our life consumes a lot of our thoughts. But when we come in here, amen, we come here to give thanks unto the Lord and to praise Him. Singing, clapping, lifting up hands, weeping, uh, uh, music, everything that pl takes place here is our worship, and we worship together as a body. It is very, very important, uh, amen, that when we come in here, we begin to worship the Lord, uh, amen. We praise, if I say praise, praise, praise. according to the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, uh, praise is to boast, uh, to applause, uh, to clamorously Foolish, uh, uh, to be clamorously foolish. Amen. Praise. When was the last time our praise was like that? Amen. We don't need to be reserved. We need to let it all out for the Lord. Can you say amen? Amen. When you lift up your hands, when you take, Robert, lift up both your hands. Amen. That's the international sign of one thing. Does anyone know what it is? Amen. To surrender. Amen. When you lift up your hands, amen, both of your hands, you are saying to God, I surrender to you. Yeah. Amen. Nothing more beautiful than to surrender, amen, to the Lord. Amen. What a beautiful, beautiful thing, Lord. My heart, my soul, my mind. Amen. Every human being has an innate desire to worship something. God created us with the capacity to worship, be it fame, fortune, or pleasure, or idol, or nature. Uh, but God's people show the praises of Him who has called us out of darkness uh, into His marvelous light. Amen. As you look among this world, amen, you can, you can drive by the movie theater tonight and that place is packed. You can, go to, you can go to a concert tonight. That place may be packed. People are just, you go to a sports event, uh, amen, and those places are packed and, and they are, those people are praising uh, you know, those those things. And, and I'm not saying that sports is wrong. I'm not saying that entertainment in and of itself uh, is wrong. But if it comes between you and God, if, you, if that is what all of your adoration a, a is toward, then there is something wrong. Yes. And then all of our adoration, all of everything that we have needs to be focused upon God. Amen. We have a desire to worship. Amen. And I hope it's your desire to worship God. I ask you to stand to your feet tonight. 1 Peter 2 and 9 says that ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of Him who hath called you out of darkness and into His marvelous light. Amen. When you live, every day that you live, you should be showing forth the praises of the God who has saved you and has blessed you so mightily. Amen. I hope and pray, amen, it is your desire to praise and worship the Lord with everything that you've got. I want you over the next few days to make sure that your mind is focused upon praising the Lord and giving Him your best. Amen. Make sure every day that He gets not what you have left over, but He gets your very, very, very best.